Well, how are we all? Great. Today, we are going to look at doubling our brain power. I know we've actually covered a lot today, and I'd like you to do a process with me that I believe is great uh, to getting us into a state of taking in as much information as possible. Because in doubling your brain power, who want, who's interested in doubling their brain power? Just give me an indication. That's right. Because we all want to achieve as much as we can in the shortest time possible so that we can get the results that we want. So today we're looking at um, why you are a potential genius. The intelligences that improve your life. The factors that control your creativity. The two basic types of thinking. How to stimulate your mind and activating these creative powers. See, when we focus on something, it's like this view here. We're looking at sort of that foveal vision. In a training state or in a learning state, I believe we can look at everything in that wide angle lens. So what I'd like us to do, if everyone wants to play, is if everyone could look, can everyone see the NEC on the, on the TV screen up there? What I'd like us to do is just focus on the NEC screen. Put all your efforts, all your focus as you're looking on the NEC. And as you focus on that, what, what I want you to do is continue to focus on that. And what you'll begin to realize is that you'll start to expand your awareness and actually start to see the walls of the room and the ceiling of the room. And then what I want you to do is as you can start to see in that peripheral vision that it's almost like you can see behind you. And as you, you're continually focusing on that, that point, what I'm now is to take all your focus now on your peripheral. And continually focusing on the NEC, but looking in your peripheral vision. And as you look in your peripheral vision, you're actually taking in a lot more information. And as you bring your eyes down towards the screen, what I'd like you to do is stay in that position of taking in all the information, instead of all that one focus that we have all the time, now I want you to focus in this wider, expansive state. So as we play the video now, doubling our brain power, keeping that mind of expanded awareness, ex expanding what you're seeing, the information that you're taking in, and just notice what else you might see. Do you remember where I was standing the majority of the time? Yes. Yeah. It's, it has an amazing impact on how much information we actually take in by staying in the peripheral vision. What else? Brian, there was something else Brian was doing that was also speaking to us. Do you remember what that was? By looking at that peripheral vision, he was actually using something else to communicate with us. Hands. His hands. And when he was talking about music, it was flowing. When he was talking about information, he was using them. When he was talking about himself, he was doing that. Th these are all our non-verbal communication that can really be helpful in presenting because we're communicating with them at an unconscious level. Some interesting information. So take me back to a time when there were some examples of a genius that you actually demonstrated in your life. Would anyone like to give us some examples? Okay. Yeah. Uh, when I was actually a team leader um, for uh, Australian National Credit Union where I am at the moment, uh, we were having issues with emails because I used to look after the phone and the internet banking. Yep. So more question, more brought in for a team meeting about how we could fix the problem of email because they weren't being done quick enough. They were just too slow. Um, the best idea that they, they're still using even today is that I created an email and stuff. Yep. And I actually said, how about we not only get different people doing emails different days, it you know, changes it up a little bit. It varies it a little bit for everybody. Great. Everyone gets to go in and, and they're not so bored with the same work repetitively. And same with the person who used to do emails all the time. Fabulous. So get a mixture of both. Yep, so that ability, your training. So the training, communicating, something that comes easy to you, something that you just flow in naturally. Does anyone else have something that they do naturally without realising it? Something that just comes easy, that we would class as demonstrating your genius. Anyone else like to share? 
one of the things I can always remember is uh, I sang at a Christmas carols. We had a Christmas carols on the Gold Coast. There was 4,600 people in the entertainment centre. And I compared the evening and I actually sang two songs. And it was the most, um, you know, exciting moment when you stand in front of 4,000 people. Brian wants to tell us something else now, I think. There's something that we missed. Did, who missed something in that meeting that we just had there? Unlocking our creativity. That's something that, that's what we're actually doing now. There are seven types of intelligence. And this is going to fall down, but that's okay. Seven types of intelligence. Verbal, mathematical, visual, spatial, musical, interpersonal, intrapersonal, and physical. Who'd like to give some examples of verbal communication? Oh, I'll learn about to speak English properly. Speak! Right? Yeah. Speaking? Anything else? What Ron's doing right now? Writing? Anything else? Communicating. Communicating? Yeah. Language? What we say? Excellent. Mathematical. Mathematical is numbers. Computing. Computing numbers. Compute. Visual spatial. C. Uh, art, painting, colours. Yep. Three dimensional. Yep. Stuff. Yep. Painting. Musical. Rhythm. Rhythm. Yeah. Singing. Yeah. Yeah. It's a music is one of the most powerful 